There are the courses that this year, particularly we started in engineering discipline, robotics and automation courses. There's a lot of excitement among the students. And in fact, this is a way for tomorrow's life. So I would say that whoever is joining robotics course this year, this is a first batch, they are lucky. And we are gearing up with a lot of robotics laboratories, infrastructures wise and all. Same thing, there are quite a few inter uh, courses in the arts side, like the international languages. Then there's a courses in the science and nutrition. Uh, and there are quite a few other, oh, architectures, agriculture, so there are many. Oh, it is almost six months, you know, that uh, I guess people are getting used to coronavirus is not going to go out of our way for at least maybe a couple of years or who knows forever. So we are getting ourselves used to. And primarily is an online, uh, so there's no other choice. So, and that's the way we are. And we ramp up our online education facilities very fast. And students are quite happy. Everything is pretty much online beside the certain laboratories which is physically need to be there. We are struggling with that, but the courses like computer science is not much of a challenge. Courses like electronics, let's say that 80%, it's okay, 20% physical laboratories is required. Same thing applicable for the robotics and the courses. But the courses like chemistry, biotechnology and all, so there are certain challenges. And uh, you know that students are suffering, teachers are suffering, people are getting used to the new life. Uh, we do not know how much we deal with the consequences and how soon the vaccine will come and what will be the impact of the vaccine and all. But life has to move on. So, and my advice to the students is to stay focused on your career. So, learn how to deal with them. And because losing a one year or two year at your prime age is cost you heavy. So I said that my advice to the students always stay focused on the even online classes. Stick to your goals, stick to your vision, and then you 